did you fast for that was my daughter? Back! Back! Give me back my daughter! Let go! The, the Cutlass. Cutlass. So this movie is directed by Darisha Beresford. And it's actually written by Tanil Nawalo. Alright guys, now The Cutlass is actually a Trinidad-based movie. It's about a young girl who is abducted by a Cutlass-wielding bandit. She is taken into the forests of Toko, where she is held against her will at ransom for half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. And then we basically see her deal with the situation and we get to see how she eventually comes out of it. Now the Cutlass actually won People's Choice Award for Best Feature Narrative in the Trinidad Tobago Film Festival 2016. Alright, now we're going to avoid talking too much about the story of this movie simply because it's a local movie. And we want you all to get out there, check it out, you know, see what the local industry is capable of. All we're basically going to do here is highlight a couple characters and, you know, give our overall thoughts of the, the movie. Now, I have to say that Al was quite the character, boy. The man was a philosopher. <laughs> the man could have been a preacher. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Scriptures and things, this man yeah. reading here. The man was truly, truly good, boy. Yeah, boy. What I would say as well, though, the guy that played Al, I think his name is Arnold, mm -hmm. he... He played that role good, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He carried that pipe life well, boy. Yes, he, yes, yes, he knew yes. what to do and what to say, boy. Because the majority of the movie, we see him mm -hmm. and the young lady who he takes, who in the movie is named Joanna. Mm -hmm. And for the two of them being on screen, majority of the time, he was good, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He captured the camera, boy. He did, boy. He looked like one, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, boy, but... <laughs> you fit the role, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good casting, boy. <laughs> Now the second character, actually worth pointing out, was Joanna. Mm -hmm. Must say she did very good. Mm -hmm. She held up the character. I mean, dealing in a situation like that, she actually got into Al's mind and actually started to understand his thinking patterns and actually how to get through to him. Yeah, I mean, and the, the fact that this is a true story mm -hmm. and this actually happened, that the, the character, Joanna, was able to, to read Al so well yeah. and... In the midst of it, she, she stayed positive now, boy. Yeah. Now it's about that time to, you know, talk about little gripes a little bit. <laughs> we just have them with every movie. We just have them with every movie. First, the actual script of the movie. Uh -huh. It felt real bland, you know. Even though it was based on a true story and they tried to reenact it as best as possible, you know, they could have give it a little belly now, man. Yeah. It up a little bit yeah, now, man. Yeah, yeah, feed them a little more for the people to be like, oh, yeah. That's one thing. I mean, even though it is true, mm -hmm. When you're reproducing it for film, you wanna, in in essence, you know, make it more engaging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that was one thing I felt that the, the script was lacking. Yeah. One other thing that actually stood out to me was the way that this movie was framed. A lot of the shots, I would say about 95% of the shots are close-up shots. Mm -hmm. Exactly like how we are right now. And I felt as though it lacked dynamics in terms of range of shots, angles and whatnot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But just the actual transitions, you know? That was it. Now we must say that this was actually a pretty good step in the right direction for our local film industry. It was, it was. Now there's actually a new era of filmmakers in Trinidad, mm -hmm. you know, younger set of people, younger set of actors, mm -hmm. and again, just to you know, reiterate what Karen said, it's a good step. It's a good step. You actually see the growth from yeah. then to now. Yeah, so I mean like, yeah, watch a, watch a movie, a local movie from, let me say, about 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and take a look at Bando D, Cutlass, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, yeah. and you will see the improvement. Good job, guys. Good job, you know. We support you. As for our rating, let us tell you that the Cutlass is definitely a good vibes. Now, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, at the Trini Review.